What's up, everybody? Audacious Reveler here, back with another episode. Today, it it is a redfish catch, clean, and cook. I went out last night on a kayak um, and fishing the dock lights with bull minnows, and I got this nice size 18 inch redfish. So, I hope you enjoy the video. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, nice. Nice red fish. Oh. Get this guy back. Nice red fish. Look at this stud. Beautiful. Oh my god. I'm shaking right now. I've been doing this for six days straight. It's the first fish I got. Oh, oh my god. It's perfect size. Fish tacos, let's go! Fish I just got. He, um, one, twelve. The minimum is 15. He is 18 inches. Perfect size. Look at this beauty. Look at him. All right, so I got silver stag filet knife, deer meat for dinner. That's my initials on it. And I'm about to fillet this fish. So we'll see you when this thing is ready to be cooked. And there it is. Okay, it is go. Okay, so first step to making a perfect fish taco is the shell. Um, I love flour tortillas. I'm using flour tortilla, and you need to have enough butter on the pan so it covers the whole pan. Should I zoom into that? Okay, so we have our filleted and skinned fish right here. Um, what we're gonna do with it is we're gonna put Old Bay garlic and herb seasoning, some salt, some pepper, lemon. Then we're gonna come over here with it and we're gonna put some butter on the pan and pan fry it. Hopefully it's good. Hi there, Lachlan. What you um, failed to mention is that we in do, in fact, have some salsa to put with our fish tacos. This is, in fact, a mango and cilantro salsa, and it has some red onions, some lime, and some salt. Also, to go along with that, we do have our famous shredded iceberg lettuce for the inside of the taco. Just a nice little bedding for the fish to lay in. And with our salad, we have the coleslaw. We still haven't decided our dressing, but you know, it's good, it's good. And for people who don't like my concoction, we have a nice tomato trinity with some pieces of onion that will suit them just fine. Thank you. Okay, we got a fish here. Put it in pan and we will see you when this is done. And Lachlan, quick question, what temperature are you cooking these babies at? Well, normally this would be like a, um, in between low and medium mm -hmm. on normal things, but on this kind of uh, pan, uh, we are doing an all around cook, so everything gets cooked. And um, 
I'm at a three. Uh, sometimes, if it's if I don't think it's cooking fast enough, I might heat the pan up a little better, up to six, and then bring it back down to four. One last question. When you're cooking filet and fish filet, uh, what's the difference when cooking it skin on and skin off? And what do you think is better for tacos? Um, I mean, both work great. Um, t tonight, it's we start dinner a little late. It's, uh, we start at 7.30 and it's a big dinner. So we didn't have time to take the skin off on most of the fish. But on my redfish, we did. Um, and the difference is for skin on, it's preferred for baking and um, grilling. But for skin off, it's preferred for doing it in the pan. Which one's better, skin on or skin off? Honestly, they taste the same. Thank you for that inside edition. And back to you in 10, 9, 8, 9. Here's the fish I got. Uh, I cooked, fish cooked really quickly, really beautifully. It's nice and white in the middle. Just gonna, since the other fish isn't ready and dinner's not quite ready yet, we're gonna chuck it in the oven. It's so acting like a warm and dry. And yeah. Okay, so I got the lime. Nah, um, it good in the neighborhood. All right, let's try this. Hold on, I have to show a picture of it. Here it is. Ah, uh -huh, that fell off the bottom. Mm. Mm. That fell off. So good. <laughs> I use your mind. Mine's the best because it's great. Oh, I love how it's, um, a tropical it taste with the uh, mango salsa. Oh, you know thanks to Eva for the mango salsa. Thanks, Goldman, for not helping out. Oh, Where is it? Right here. That's my favorite. Okay. Oh, like well, well, I need oh, to go.